What's up, everybody? Welcome back to JR Sneaker Show. I'm JR, and today I got a sneaker. This is an oldie, but a goodie. So I wanted to bring this one back out. Um, had this one in the collection for quite a while, but I've never reviewed it. And so definitely want to showcase these bad boys right here. And actually, this pair right here is, I want to say, top five of my favorite Jordans of all time. And so you'll see right here by the box, you can see Air Jordan Flight right there. And I mean, I feel like this is one of my top five right here. So let's see, top one, Breads, Chicago's. Oh man, so those are the Jordan 1's already. And then um, the 3's, the, the black cements, the white cements uh threes that, that would be number four and then this will be my top five right here so white cement and then the black cement would be my six so um but man then i got this the jordan sixes so i don't know maybe it's in my top 10 <laughs> now that i think about it there's so many jordans out there and we haven't seen them again since um they've been talking about and these are the insoles like if you watch my channel you know i don't i take out my insoles and this is before i started taking them out um, and that's why, because <laughs> they rub off. They definitely rub off. And so, um, yeah. But back in 2016, they released these on, I think it was Valentine's Day or something like that. Yeah, I think it was Valentine's Day, February 2016. Um, and I was actually able to pick these up. Um, I don't remember where. I don't remember where I got these, but maybe it was finish line. But anyway, let me hit you with that. Show ya! So right here, like I said, this is an oldie, but a goodie. Definitely worn. Um, you can see some star loss right there. Not terrible, like not, not heavily worn, but this is just one of those sneakers um, that I just, I really like a lot. You see, it's got the Nike Air on the back right there. Um, and then it's got, like I said, it's kind of, it's had some wear. Um, but this right here, this is the, what you call so this, just so you know, this is the cement. This is where they get the, the cement colorway. It's that gray. It's not the dots. It's not the speckles. That's actually called splatter print, um, splatter. But then the actual colorway on these is white, fire, red, black, tech gray, which is crazy, right? To think that, um, that it even says right there is tech gray. So like Jordan Brand be fooling us sometimes because um that doesn't even say cement gray you know but um back in the day I, I i don't i mean i never even owned these back in the day i don't think i got a pair of jordans until i got the fives i think the fives were my first one so i didn't own the fours when i was a kid but you know maybe go back and look at the boxes if you do own a pair and i think it says cement gray so the fact that these even say tech gray um just trips me out jordan brand that they be doing stuff like that like um i hope they bring this one back um one more time 2016 so we're definitely due nine years going on what eight years um yeah eight years so if jordan brand brings this one back hopefully they'll do the cement gray not the tech gray um but that's just my opinion so and then you can see right there it's got the air jordan on the inside right there and it's upside down and so yeah these are cool i really like these a lot um so anyway i just thought i'd showcase these because i know fours are really hot right now and you know matter of fact there's a couple videos out there that said this is one of the ugliest fours of all time which i don't agree with <laughs> you know the one thing i will say is that you know they've been doing all these uh reimagined and um so now they're talking you know they just did the Let's see, you know, the Chicago's reimagined, the Lost and Bounds. And then um, what else did they do reimagined after that? They did the threes, the reimagined threes. Um, you know, they did the satin breads. Um, before that, it was the patent breads. Um, so they're bringing back all these, you know, OG colorways in different forms uh, with a slight moderation. And so with that being said, you know, they just brought out, you know, go watch back my other video, but... I just reviewed the the Royals, the Royal Ones, the Reimagined, and, you know, 
they did those in the suede um and then you know if you look at the other video i did that was the the concords which they brought them back looking like the dmps but it really wasn't the dmps they had the leather tongue they didn't even give us the hang tag so those were called the gratitudes right so they're what they're doing is they're giving us like og colorways and they're coming back with like a twist they're doing them something different they're not really bringing them back like that way the fact you know that this says tech gray and this is the the white cements um the white cement fours is what these have always been known for and so i would just think that it would say you know cement gray on there because that cement is that gray colorway now i could be wrong because like i said i don't own a pair of the originals from you know the 90s so i don't know what the box says but i i will now now that i'm thinking about it i'm gonna do some research and see real quick hold on okay so i'm tripping i just went back and looked uh did some research and um the jordan fours originally on the box it just said white and black <laughs> that's all it said so i just went back and looked at some old boxes um from 1989 and it just says on the box uh jordan four white black or something like that but it doesn't even say anything about the gray so uh, it would have been cool if they did call these um cement gray instead of tech gray i'm just saying just kind of keep it the same so i don't know if jordan brand uh comes out with a cement gray colorway <laughs> so but that's the speckled right here and just let me show you just something real quick this is a, a pair i've been cleaning up these are the jordan fives i forgot these are like the pro stars or something like that and i've been cleaning these up um but i just like i said i'm just a i love that splatter print right there that they use and like i said you know they put it on this uh on this jordan 5 for some reason these are the um jordan 5 pro stars this is when jordan this is like a throwback to when jordan had his uh tv show i think it was like wayne's wayne gretzky bo jackson uh, a couple other guys i think but um yeah anyway so um, i'm really excited to have these um in the collection they're still wearable um they're actually in pretty good shape and so like i said i'm still i haven't worn these in a while i need to bust these back out you can see some of the paint is starting to kind of come off right there but that's an easy fix but i don't even know if i'll fix it i mean at this point you know kind of that age vintage look is you know kind of where it's at you can see the the netting is starting to yellow um but it's all good it's all good and so anyway i just thought i'd showcase these and i know jordan fours are are pretty pretty hot right now so but um what do you think about these i mean have you heard that this is the ugliest jordan four of all time i don't believe that <laughs> to be true me personally but yeah i'm just glad i have these in the collection and i need to bust these out and next year i do own the the breads go back and watch a video my video on the on the black cement fours i call them bread fours i call them black cement fours um but the black cement fours is what i originally called them um go back and watch those that video and you can see um that one's more of a new buck which i never understood right because i have the fire red fours i have the black cement fours and then now and the white cement fours i don't own the military blues which those are coming out next year and i'm definitely gonna be picking those up but um what i never understood is why they never made the black cement fours in leather they made them in new buck which is cool um but the cool thing is is next year we're going to be getting the black cement fours in leather like this like leather like this but you know in the black cement four part of that re that whole reimagined thing so jordan brand if you're listening it'd be cool to see a reimagined version of this as well um in you but <laughs> kind of flip flip the script a little bit you know that would be crazy <laughs> But if not, just give it back to us in leather and then maybe change the box to say just white and black like it did back in the 1989 when these originally came out. So anyway, do y'all own a pair? Do you own a pair of these? The is you know, is this something that y'all are even messing with? Like I said, it says 
Nike on the bottom. You can see I've been wearing these. I've worn these. They got right there on the toe. You can see definitely some wear. But I take care of my shoes. I take care of my sneakers every time. Take them off. You know, wipe them down. Put them in the box. Keep them in the box. You know, I don't own any of those, uh, you know, things. But definitely keeping keeping good care of the sneakers. So anyway, well, everybody. Thank you for checking out JR Sneaker Show again. Please uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends about it, and everybody, God bless you, and I'm out.